What's up everyone, Darkblade here bringing you a quick video for The Last of Us, showing you what happens at the end of the 12 weeks. Basically in multiplayer when you go into the mode factions, you have to complete 12 weeks. In the multiplayer each match counts as a day, so that's a grand total of 84 matches to complete before you actually finish the 12 weeks. Anyway, once you complete the 12 weeks, what happens then? Well, firstly you unlock an achievement, depending on which faction you chose first. Firefly if you chose the Fireflies, or Hunter if you chose the Hunters. Anyway, after you've completed your 84th match, you will be told that you've survived the 12 weeks. You will also be given on this screen a score, as well as how well you did compared to your friends. You will also see what the world's biggest clan size is, as well as what your maximum clan size was during the 12 weeks. After this, you will then be brought to the faction choice screen again. So you can pick the opposite faction if you want to, so you can go get the other trophy if you want, or you can re-pick the same faction if you're not really interested in that and just play as your favourite side. After you pick your faction, you'll start again at day one. But you'll notice that your gear and your customizations still remain unlocked. Basically, once you've unlocked them once and once you've completed the 12 weeks, they don't re-lock like a prestige mode would. You will also notice that your leaderboards don't change, they don't reset either, although your rank will increase. These are the little symbols next to your name. Anyway, that's about it for this little video. Hope it's been informative and explained a little bit about what happens at the end of the 12 weeks in the factions multiplayer mode in The Last of Us. I've been Dartblade, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.